What's the most NSFW thing you've experienced in a professional situation? I had a manager in a call center in 1999-2000. She would sometimes have one-on-one -on -one meetings with employees in her office. During a meeting with me she was wearing a short dress skirt. Uncrossed her legs in a way where I could see she wasn't wearing underwear and had a landing strip. I'm pretty sure she noticed that I noticed. But I don't think she was doing it on purpose. I once saw a girl sit down on the floor in one of the cubicles and show everyone her clit ring. Well, what's the point of a clit ring if you're not gonna show it off? I worked at a KFC. We had a nasty ex-stripper that worked there and a horny manager. She wanted to go home early so they agreed that she could if he got to finger pop her asshole. They did it right behind the chicken warming case. I quit about a week later. I was working for an international company and we were rolling out video conferencing equipment. We had the far end system in the London office on and connected. It was like 9pm there. For testing. The monitor was off there. But the camera wasn't. I was looking at network traffic when I heard voices. Looked up and saw an exec and his male assistant. Went about my business when my co-worker walked in and said hey stupid change. Did you get the what the duck? Exec had dropped to his knees and started going at it. On our 60 monitor. I quickly killed the connection. And I still don't know if my side was muted or not. But if it wasn't it was probably pretty funny with some dude getting a beej and the a sudden voice coming through from nowhere. When I was 19 I worked for a quick oil change place and I had a woman sit in her car and change every stitch of clothing while I stood there and wrote down her information. First startup I worked at in the 90s, just a few of us, ran meetings by having the note taker use a sheet of paper placed over a playboy. If the note taker started flipping through the magazine, the meeting wasn't interesting enough and was declared over. Worked in an office about 10 years ago, on a weekend once when we were closed, but I needed to catch up on a couple of projects I decided to jerk off at my desk, young and horny. Finished and double wrapped the tissue for flushing on the way out. Not a minute later, a work colleague walked in thank duck. That was close I thought and told him I'm off home and I'll see him on Monday. On my way out after I was done in the toilet I realize I had forgotten my phone so walked back into the office to see him at his desk jerking off. Was fixing someone's computer. Found about 35 gigs of child PRN. Called the cops and called the dude saying his computer was fixed and ready for pickup. He showed up at the store with the sheriff waiting just inside. My coworker lightly brushes my junk and slaps my ass whenever she gets the chance. I'm not interested in her but I do like the attention. I have a girl at work who brushes her breasts up against me. Sometimes her butt. And by god. It takes so much willpower to just keep on keeping on and not address it. But good golly, if I wasn't her boss, and slightly more attractive comfortable with women, and she didn't have a boyfriend, well, that's a lot of caveats. I used to work in a sign shop that specialized in vehicle wraps. My co-workers were always ducking around, and one of them must have lost a bet or something. I walked around a tour bus we were wrapping, and I saw him standing on the scissor lift, applying the wrap to the bus. Wearing only his work belt and shoes. In my company we have live video in every conference room. If a meeting is scheduled between two rooms, then the live conference connects automatically and the two rooms are both on live video. Anyone in the company can schedule this. Well we were in a meeting that ended and the next meeting connected. Turns out the people in the room for the next meeting did not know this and were in a very NSFW activity. The whole executive team watched in shock what was happening in the 100 inch screen in front of them. They still have jobs. But that will haunt them forever. There was a guy and a girl. Not in a relationship. That used to regularly go into the sick bay around lunch time for 10-20 minutes. She was a bit loud. Are you on the USS Enterprise? Work in the NICU. Walked in on a mum and dad snorting mom's pain pills off the medical cart. 
Go figure their child was also born addicted to methadone. Immediate reporting done. In Brazil, we have this WhatsApp joke where they put some random video with the audio of Alexis Texas moaning very loud. Once I was on a kinda serious meeting and my boss got caught in one of those jokes. Needless to say that everyone laughed and took a 5 minute break before resuming the meeting. I was getting a physical for school and had to take my gown off for the hernia part that same second his phone rang and he answered it and I'm standing there butt naked while he talks on the phone for 10 minutes. Walked in on two people having sx in the break room. Hate sx is hot ass though. Some patient at the hospital comes out of his room wearing jeans. With a boner protruding through the open zipper. The people he walked past on that floor were too in shock to say anything to the guy. So he strolls onto the elevator and heads down to the lobby. Full mast. Goes to the cafeteria. Picks out some food. Then security finally makes it to the guy while he is waiting in the checkout line. Think he got a psych consult after that. While I was on cash at McDonald's during a warm summer day I had a 40-ish hot ass milf of a customer practically flash me to see if I would give her any free. She was only wearing a bikini top and shorts and she started pulling it to the side. I was so shocked I had no response but her gf, I'm guessing, got her to stop. It took like 5 minutes before I could think again. During my ER clinicals to become a paramedic I saw two nurses and a doc go into a room together. Thought nothing of it until I went into that room to get something and they were having themselves a good old fashioned freeway. I wasn't sure what to do so I did the mature thing and tried to gossip amongst the other nurses. They all already knew about it. Apparently the three of them actually lived together. Girlfriend's co-worker walked in on the boss son jacking off in the supply closet. They lock eyes and the son just goes. Oh t. Co-worker backed out and closed the door. Son moved away. Haha. <laughs> Executive at a major billion dollar tech corporation got fired after a Vegas marketing conference. At a huge party where CEO and major officers were in attendance as well as some celebrities. He grabbed a video camera from the marketing team. He was executive. They kind of had to give it to him. And he proceeded to go into the ladies restroom and walk along past all the stalls with the camera above the doors pointing down. He had to have been completely lit. He was gone the next day. Not really a professional situation but it was on the job soon. But in college I was a delivery boy for Domino's and I had to run through a parking garage staircase to get to these apartments. I busted through the door to the stairwell and almost hit some high school kid getting a BJ. Didn't really want to be a buzzkill so I just gave them a quick noise -y. I was 50 something working in a middle school as the network computer tech and got a blow job from a 30 something social studies teacher in her room. At her desk. During one of her planning periods. Edit. She was also the cheerleading coach. I was on call at the hospital one night during my residency. I get called at about 3am for a disturbance in a patient's room. I walk down the hall and hear some screaming and a bunch of nurses standing outside this patient's room. As I get to the door I see the patient standing in the corner. Covered in her own poop. Legs bent and arm up her gown. This woman was pulling out poop from her butt and throwing it at nurses and whoever tried to get near her. I nope the hell out of there. She eventually ran out of poop and I have a phone order for some meds to put her down. I felt bad for the housekeeping crew that night. They were up to their elbows in poop. Edit. Spelling and RIP inbox. Edit 2. Well. My top comment of all time has to do with flinging poop. Thanks reddit. Much love. I do hotline support so this person calls me for help and I take over his computer remotely. I realize I need a driver so I open his browser. You know those top 9 visited websites that's your start page in Chrome? All PRN. Other customer. Similar thing. Remote control his computer. He needed software installed so I help him get the necessary dependencies. I open browser, type G for Google and see half a dozen websites that start with gang. 
Just kept typing. Got a bunch of Chinese customers. Half of them wants to gamble so I bring them to the casino. The other half wants to duck so I bring them to a brothel. Waited in the lobby. Talking to a half naked woman. Gave her 20 for her time. One of these is not like the others. I was staying in Newport RI remodeling a house and the tenant downstairs was a very beautiful medical supply saleswoman. We had a dumpster on site and she asked me if she could throw away a few bags of trash. Sure. No biggie. My boss was stomping on the trash to make some room and a bag tore open. It was full of deal dos. Dozens. He lined them up on the dumpster. A few still worked. Buzzing along. We found an order form for a whole new bunch of deal dos. She must have been a freak. I couldn't let her find them sitting there. Two of us were staying on the second floor while we were working there. She was a quiet girl and it obviously would have been awful. I covered them up with trash. 20 years of great spank bank material though. She was gorgeous. Medical supply saleswoman. I think she was a DLDO saleswoman. Who didn't want the world to know she was a DLDO saleswoman? Throw away because we still work there. I guess it was the time my coworker and I hooked up in the break room. Most of the company was out on a conference and the few who remained went out to lunch. I had no idea he even liked me. I had a huge crush on him. I was leaning over to get coffee and as he brushed by me I felt his crotch against my ass. I'm not usually so daring. But I thought duck it and shoved my tongue in his mouth. Surprisingly. He felt the same way. We were too nervous to go all the way. But I did get Fingerbanged to orgasm. I also blew him. He was just about to come when we heard our co-workers coming back from lunch. Poor guy. So yeah. Most NSFW thing for me was getting fingered by my co-worker in the break room and then blowing him to almost completion. He was just about to come when we heard our co-workers coming back from lunch. Poor guy. I was expecting an erotic story. Not a horror novel. Nice try HR department. I'm not falling for that again. When I worked at fast food place a crew member could toss a quarter down my shirt from like 10 feet away even with the top button done up. I got to keep the quarter once I pulled it out of my bra. I haven't worked at very many professional places. I worked with a woman who claimed she could give herself an orgasm using only her mind. On two occasions. I saw her demonstrate this. Of course. She could have been lying. But that is a weird thing to lie about. She claimed that the more people were watching, the easier it was for her. She seemed pretty convincing. Edit. This was not at all similar the exaggerated fake orgasm scene from when Harry met Sally. It was more subdued. And apart from some minor soft moaning. Silent. It seemed believable. Based on my somewhat limited, but nonetheless existent, experience with the subject. Edit again. Spelling. Sorry. Spelling Nazis. Edit number 3. I am aware that women can lie about orgasms. My second sentence refers to the fact that it would be weird to volunteer this information. Out of the blue. As a lie. Whether or not the orgasms were real or not is immaterial. Her Zerl exhibitionism in a professional work environment is the crux of this story. Bet she was really wearing a butt plug and posting pics to Reddit. There is like, a whole sub for that. I mean, I've heard. Used to work in a PRN store. Had to kick someone out for peeing on the floor in a viewing booth. Edit. Did not expect this to become my post popular comment to date. Matched with a girl on Tinder. Who was my patient a few hours prior. Did not recognize her. Or connect the dots when I swiped right. She did. When I was 16 I was working at McDonald's. I got put on a Saturday morning shift which started at 5 a.m. I couldn't sleep and ended up arriving to work that morning at about 4. 25 am. I noticed the manager's car and one of my co-workers car was already there. So I figured I'd just head in and sit around in the break room until 5. Walked in and heard them in the bathroom ducking. Manager was a woman about 35. Other employee was a guy about 18. 
I just went back to my car and pretended I never knew about it. About a month later I asked for a Saturday off for homecoming. And she said no. So I casually said, I'm going to take it off anyways. Or else I'll let Todd, store manager, know about you and Bill. She gave me the day off. Getting a blowjob from an HP representative while working in procurement in a government job. She was pretty and gave a great blowjob. But we went with Dell. They are more reliable and have a better warranty service. At a work retreat. I went into the hotel hot tub late at night. The tub was empty except for another couple. The woman was being fingered. They left before I could get acquainted. Walked in on two people having sex on a desk after hours. Do you mean after hours as in outside of work? Or after hours of watching them? While in an interview something came up about cameras not being in the room we were in. The guy says to me, yeah. We could be butt ducking in here and no one would know. Had a woman I worked with that was pretty vile on a consistent basis both in hygiene and behavior. She had shti herself a few times at work and would go around showing people and boasting about her ibes. Would get down on all fours in like cat cow position to force out farts. Mooning other co-workers. Once blew up the bathroom so bad that the plumbing backed up and apparently the entire bathroom was covered in shti when someone went to check it out. All while she's laughing her head off about it. Dug through the feminine waste basket to find a co-worker's pregnancy test so she could tell everyone. Would regularly tell stories about her and her husband having an L in the shower and accidentally shitting all over him. Would bring said husband who was 6 feet tall and easily 300 lbs. To intimidate and follow around a pregnant co-worker for attempting to report her behavior to corporate. Just pretty disgusting in general as a human being. I work in a sport products retail. We have a golf shot simulator in order to try different clubs and balls and study the player's technique. One day a young couple start to shoot balls. Boyfriend prepares the gesture while his girlfriend stares. So the golf club went back and impacted violently against her face. Resulting in a completely disintegrated jaw. Lots and lots of blood and teeth everywhere. I will never forget the boyfriend's face after the accident. Attending his fainted girlfriend. So pale and scared. Lifeless gaze. Emergencies came and took care of her very quick and went to hospital. One of WTF moments in my work time. For sure. TL. Doctor at a golf simulator in a sports store. A man accidentally destroyed girlfriend's jaw with a club. Christ man the rest of these are about titties. 18 years old. Job interview to be a server at famous Dave's BBQ. I wore a strapless dress. Looked super cute. The manager was a 40 something year old guy. He ran through the job's details and answered my questions. We stood up to shake hands and seal the deal. When I shot up excitedly from my seat. Radiating a big thankful smile. My feet were stepping on the front of the bottom of my dress. The dress went down to my hips and I just stood there. All perky tits in his face and whatnot. I got a blowjob from my manager while she was on a conference call with all the other managers in the region and the regional manager. Then again I don't know if a movie theater is especially professional. Manager I worked with often said some really s -zerl things to me. Despite being a gay dude, I'm female. Made me wonder if he was hetero curious. Another manager implied he was into bondage like heavy master slave play while we were working together on something. Good times. Coworker's boyfriend dropped her off at work and the two of them asked me if he could experience giving a guy a blowjob and offered to give me one as I was the only bizzerl guy they knew. Was he any good? Guy from work randomly telling me about his hot cousin and how when he was around her he would have to put a pillow on himself to cover up. There are other weird things he says to me. I guess he thinks he can get away with it since I am new and 23 and he is 55 but his weird remarks sometimes get to me. Used to work at a warehouse for an online retailer that sold literally everything. 
including SX toys. Given the juvenile sort that generally worked there, a lot of snickers and guffaws were had. We also had safety issues where pickers desperate to make rate would turn corners in aleways without stopping and looking and ran the risk of running into or over people. An inventive solution was crafted whereby a very large lifelike DLDO with a suction cup base was attached at the end cap of an aleway at roughly head height, thereby ensuring that pickers disobeying the stop and look rule would get smacked in the face by a DCK. One time my coworker emailed me an audio file of farts. On the downside, last year, an elderly director general, male, from a Southeast Asian country gently gave me a couple of pats on my butt during a reception. I'm a nearly 40 year old man by the way. I didn't lock myself in the toilet and cry or anything. But boy was I weirded out. Also when talking to the guy in meetings later on. He's in another country now. Fortunately. On the upside. 10 years ago. When I was younger and not married yet. I had hot SX with a colleague while on training. It went from 1-100 really quick as we only had a few minutes alone till the others returned. Just as they reached the door she jumped into the cupboard. But naked. I was disheveled but managed somehow to to be half dressed when they came in. Flicking the condom into a bin when the door opened. I had to come up with some weird ass excuse of everyone having to absolutely go out again. Outside the building and down the street so my colleague could escape from the cupboard. Good times. A lady had a yoga ball which had a DLDO apparatus on it. She would always wear skirts to work and I guess ride the beast all day. Well one day she had to leave rather quickly and forgot to turn the thing over so the DLDO portion was hidden. She left the next day. I work in a scrap metal yard in a small town. Years ago there was a prostitute that would show up on payday every week for these two guys working there. One day she doesn't show up but her friend does. These women were on the budget side as far as prostitutes go and right in front of the office and everybody. This woman takes off her shirt. Every either walks away or looks away but this new kid was trying so hard to just ignore the situation that it was hilarious in itself because he just kept picking stuff up and throw it where it needed to go never missing a beat while this woman is trying her hardest to get him to look. Thankfully that craziness stopped. Now we just have idiots trying to defrost a leaky propane tank with an oxyacetylene torch. At a job interview for insurance sales the woman interviewing me just opened her legs giving me a wide view of her goodies. Got the job. Not me but one of my buddies. He's a personal trainer and between sessions he'd have some downtime. Anyway. His gym would often have interns and it was like shooting fish in a barrel. He went into a back office and had SX. And from what I'm told it was pretty freaky SX. Got called into the head manager's office the next day, with the girl, and was informed that the office was wired for video and sound. They played the whole thing in front of him and her. The worst part is when they were picking which desk to do their business on. They chose the HR manager because they both hated her and clearly verbalized this in the video. He got fired that day. 